Oh my god. Hi everyone. Today I was not expecting to film, but I just got my huge, huge, literally biggest sticker shipment I've ever ordered. Literally right now, I came back home from running some errands and I saw them deliver it. I actually checked earlier today on my FedEx app and I was like, when am I going to be getting my stickers? Because it's supposed to be sometime within the week and it was like today and I was like, oh my god. And so then I came home and there they were. I actually saw them deliver it. I saw the guy take the photo to like confirm that FedEx delivered something and then I saw my phone refresh it immediately and it came up so I'm super excited also yes I do have a new little sunny angel on my phone and he's super cute literally so excited because these have my Halloween stickers I grabbed these to kind of like double check because I printed these out I have a new method for doing my stickers now where I print out my designs on my colored printer so I can kind of see what they are going to look like size wise when they get printed because I'm really bad at gauging sizes for some reason so this way I'm able to kind of imagine like what they're going to look like and these are some of the sticker sheets that I made I made Halloween ones and I'm super excited about these and I also made them into individual stickers I have the silly circus ham stickers which are so cute I have so many different ones the fish mouth stickers making a comeback but these are just a couple of them I also have sugar bonds which are so incredibly cute so I have a lot of designs today coming in the mail also I didn't realize I was getting this today at all until I literally saw the box and the tracking information but these are my enamel pins that I made a little bit ago for a company and I'll have this in a whole separate video But I will unbox this with you guys just briefly uh, I do have to save it for the sponsored video But I'm super excited because these are my first time ever making enamel pins So I did kind of just send in some designs that I already had pre-drawn so they're not anything new But they are new because I've never made enamel pins before so I really hope they turn out pretty I made a lot of them in silver because you guys know that I've been slowly transitioning into silver I used to make all my keychains and stuff gold, but now I'm slowly going to silver but anyway i'll talk about that when we open that i want to get into this big box of stickers it's heavy it hardly fits on my lap Really quickly though, let's have a quick word from today's sponsor. You guys know that I've been running my small business for a while now on my own and it can definitely get stressful at times. It's really important for me to take breaks and check in with my mental health and that's why I'm excited to talk about today's sponsor which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. They also strive to make therapy more accessible and affordable to you. It's really easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist you guys can check that out with the link in the description box or head to betterhelp.com forward slash wang. Clicking that link helps support this channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can get connected to a therapist and see if it helps you. And if you feel like you don't vibe with your first therapist, which is common, you can totally switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. I can get really stressed and anxious since running a business by yourself can be unstable at times, so I try not to do it alone and check in with my therapist when I can. If you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash wang. And thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. And now let's get back into the unboxing vlog. But yeah, I don't have an X-Acto knife with me today, but I do have this pair of super sharp pink scissors. But I'm really hoping that the colors turned out well. I'm always nervous about colors. Also, these are going to be my big Halloween drop for stickers. I'm also going to get a lot of these designs made into keychains. Maybe some phone grips again to replace the blobfish phone grip that that is now out of stock on my website. I am so excited. We got some paper in here. Oh, I think I opened the box upside down, so I can't see any of the designs. That way we can see them together. So the sizes look pretty good. Oh, these are my Halloween ones. I can tell a little bit. Are we ready for the Halloween ones? Three, two, one. <gasps> They're cute! Oh, they are cute. I am happy. I think I might like this better, actually. For reference, this is what I printed out, and it's a little bit more yellow toned. I don't know if you can tell. And these are more pink, so I think these came out better. I am super happy with these. They look super good. So cute! So now we have those. I'm gonna leave one out of each so that I can look at them. I have high hopes for the other ones. Next, I don't know which one this is, but it, I think it's Sugar Bonds. So cute. Okay. Well, so cute. Oh my gosh. Look how literally cute they are. They look so good. And here's the other one. I hope everyone's going to be so excited for these. I'm going to post these on Instagram and I really hope you guys love them. Next, these must be the fish mouth ones. Oh my gosh. 
The colors are so pretty. I'm so happy. So I made a bunch of these sticker sheets larger because my dad gave me a bunch of envelopes that he no longer uses. And so I wanted to be able to fill them up with like some really big sticker sheets, which is also a great opportunity for me to make some larger sticker sheets. So now we have these three new pink sticker sheets as well. I wanted to make some pink stuff because I feel like I haven't made anything like fully pink for my shop in a while when it comes to sticker sheets. These look super good too. Very happy. And now we have the circus hams. <gasps> oh, I think these actually came out so much better than I thought they would. I did do a lot of um, the dot texture this time around. Oh my God. I was like playing around with them and I think they came out really cute and they added some like texture and that's really fun. This is what the circus hams look like. I'll give you guys some more close-ups later as well, but they look super good. All of these are very glossy and very pretty. So these are the new sticker sheets that we have and they look incredible. I cannot wait to list these. I hope you guys love these. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. And now we just have some restocks. So this one's a restock of the UFO ones, but the rest of these are new. So we have ghosties, we have the white ghosties, bunny ghosts for Halloween, these little bods, skeleton bods, and then we have skeleton heads somewhere. Oh, these are my favorites. I knew these would come out good, but man oh man are these literally like my absolute favorites. I've also been wanting to make bigger stickers. Oh, I totally destroyed this bag, oops. Because I got new sticker packaging recently as well. So these look incredible. I am so happy with these. They look so good. Oh my gosh. So these are definitely my fave. I'm so excited for Halloween this year in case you can't tell. Also, I'm gonna be tabling at RISD Craft again this year. So I got a bunch of new stuff for then, especially Halloween themed things. <gasps> new sets of these. I redid these stickers. They used to be holographic, but now they're glittery and I think they look so much better this way. So I decided to redo the stickers because I sold out of all of them and it was time to like restock them, but I didn't want to just do the exact same thing. So I redid these designs. I think they look great. Candy Bond one actually has the open tummy this time around. And we got the skeleton heads, of course, to go with the bods, but I am super, super happy about these. And so let me get this box out of the way. So many incredible new stickers. I want to open like all of them and see what they look like. So these are the new collection for the little bonds. We have flower bond here. I just dropped clover bond. Oh my gosh. And then we have candy bond with the open tummy this time around, but I think they look great. Super happy with these. Super happy with all of the new stickers. They look so good. I'm very happy. I think the colors are coming out really well and I think I'm getting better at my color design. And then we have these ghost guys, which I'm also very happy about. And I think I'll be trying to make it's two of them into phone grip designs for Halloween. And also in general, I don't think these are like constantly Halloween-ish. Like you could have this all year round. I'm very happy about those. My bed is becoming a mess. But now let's briefly open the other guys. We have my enamel pins over here. And if you guys wanna see the full unboxing, depending on when this video comes out, it may or may not already be out but just look out for my enamel pin um, video that's gonna be in the works because I wanted to make a video showing like my first time making enamel pins. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open. So here are the three pins that I got. Well, I got 300, but here are one of each. So we have this one, which is my favorite one for sure. We have the bunny girl one, which I think I would have liked if it came out a little bit bigger, just because something about the design is probably, I don't know if it's on my end or on their and, and then we have this guy and they all have little heart clutches on the back, which are super cute. They're hard to show. I've never showed anything like this on camera before. These are definitely my favorite. Super happy with these and how these came out. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna list everything today. I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow cause I'm kind of tired and I had some other stuff planned to do today. I am so excited. I'm gonna pack up these two bunnies today because I sold them online and oh my God, my camera recognized them as infants. That's kind of crazy. I'm sad to see them go, but they must. So I'm gonna package them up in two little cellophane bags. I'm debating on putting a business card in there. Just cause like one, it'd be cute and two like, <laughs> just like for the bunny specifically. Cause I feel like it just looks too cute to not do that. If they can't find them slash 
are looking for them. And so here's two of them all packaged up. Goodbye, my sweet bunnies. I will never see you again. <laughs> also, I was about to take a photo of them and I realized that this is so cute. Like, look at all my pink stuff. My bunnies with my bunny hipper, with my cup with bunnies. Everything's so cute. Okay, so it's been a couple days. I've been putting this off because honestly, I just, I get stuff and then I don't have time or plans to like put on my shop yet, but I'm doing it now. So I'm going to prepare for a holiday shop launch. Um, I guess like it's not holiday because holiday implies Christmas. It's more like Halloween shop launch, but I have some of these here that aren't even the actual stickers. These ones are again, the ones that I it out to kind of have like a mock copy and I'm really glad I did that because it seriously did help me really envision the size. These are not real, lol. These are real and they came out so cute and I have the other stuff too. I have like some of the stickers over here and I just think they look really, really great. I've started putting some of my leftover stickers like in this little ditto tray that I have because I just need it to go somewhere. I don't like them floating around on my desk. I have a lot of the cute stickers. So we have like the kitty one, the skull one, very Halloween, this guy. And then I have some of the other ones too in here, I'm sure, or I'll have to dig them out. But I'm gonna take photos today. I'm gonna take the product photos. I just wanna show you guys up close again how they look because I think they're just so incredibly pretty. And so now let's go ahead and take some photos with the tablecloth. And I'm also going to be peeling some of these off and doing it a whole different way to kind of take like really nice photos. But I'm really excited about all of these. I think these are some of the best things I've designed so far. I randomly decided after I got my stickers to make some of them into prints because my last round of prints was actually really successful. I kind of wasn't doing prints for a long time because I find it as something that I don't personally buy. And in my own business, I really like to focus on things that I enjoy. But of course, when you guys are really interested in something, I'm definitely going to try to maintain that. So I just finished taking photos of these. They look really, really good. So definitely check these out. They will be linked in the description box below and they're live in my store now. So I think they're super cute. Again, I'm very happy with how they came out. I think the colors look super yummy. And this one's probably my favorite. The spooky cuties are definitely spooky and cute. So check them out and there will be more Halloween stuff to come for sure. Good morning, everyone. It has been a few days. I'm not gonna lie. I never got around to actually listing my products. So I submitted a bunch of my designs for prints and they're actually supposed to be here today. And I'm a little bit like antsy about it because they're literally supposed to be here like by the end of today at 9 p.m. but the tracking isn't updating properly so first of all this second half of my video really banks on these being here eventually at some time so it still says expected delivery by Friday which is today but I have no idea what time and I'm really hoping it's not going to be like 8 p.m. because I'd like the natural daylight to film so I've kind of been sitting around all day waiting for it I've already actually like cleaned my room done a bunch of random stuff in the efforts of being productive while waiting for it but I just got uh, an Instagram update that one of the stores that sell Sunny Angels near me has them in stock. So I think while we're waiting for this, because it is currently 2.30, that clock is still wrong. I think I'm gonna go and get some Sunny Angels by myself, especially within the last like month or two. I've been going with my boyfriend every single time, but today I'm gonna go by myself. So I'm gonna be really shy and probably get some and like open them in my car. I do need something to do. So I think we're gonna run really quickly and just go and see what's up. That will be the start of my day so that I don't have to sit here and just wait the entire time. And who knows, I may have another six and a half hours to wait. So as of right now, we're gonna run to Postman Books really quick. I got my coffee. I got a free little drink this morning because my friend works at Starbucks. So that was super nice. No, no coffee for you. She doesn't like when I talk in her face, but you make the cutest faces. <laughs> I also have my keys. Keychain check. I still have the bunny on my keys. Don't worry. I'm saying goodbye to all of the hammies before we go. We're just the sweetest one. Just kidding. Piran's pretty sweet too. Um. They're so cutie, but I feel like it's been a minute since I've shown you guys the ham, so they are all still doing very well. Banana muffin is growing up to be big and strong. I literally feel kind of crazy because I'm literally zooming to Postman right when they posted on Instagram that they have them in stock, but I really didn't have anything else planned today other than to edit the footage that I filmed today and get my prints and do my Halloween shop launch, but I can't do that without my prints. Look at you! 
are you doing? Do you want a little snack? Do you want that? Wow, good job. So she says hello, but yeah, let's get going before I lose any more daylight. I feel like I'm going to go come back and I'm still not gonna get my package and that's gonna really suck. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay. Let's get going. I am so excited. I don't know exactly what they have in stock, but hopefully they have the pink bunnies because I wanna get a few more of those since I am trying to do some like custom sunny angels. I wanna try to paint them because I've recently met someone who paints like models and stuff and I feel like they might be able to help me out with like paint sourcing and stuff. So hopefully I can make something cool. I'm gonna head out right now. We're gonna go see what they have. Sorry, my hands are shaking. I'm just so excited. And hopefully the sunny craze honestly stops soon so that I can get back to enjoying my sunnies and they can constantly be in stock because it's been so hard to find sunny angels. Um, me and my friends have all been searching them for so long. So that's why I literally zoomed here. Craziest bag I've ever secured. Do you guys see all the sunnies? We got a lot of them. I am still drinking this. Do you guys also get a coffee and then drink it for like the entire day? Or maybe that's just me. Literally huge haul. They gave me a reusable bag. I texted my friends and luckily all my friends are super responsive and text back immediately. Also, I wanted to do this in the car with the AC off, but it's like the hottest day in Georgia today. So I literally cannot. The camera's currently on my phone to keep it level. Anyway, let's have a little haul. I'm not gonna open all of these because these are mostly all for my friends. So don't freak out, but I did just spend over $100 on Sunny Angels. These are the Harvest Tippers for Jamie. Two of those and two of the fruits, which was surprising. I didn't know he liked the fruit ones. So we have two of these for him. All my friends were so ecstatic about the Marine series. So my boyfriend's little sister wanted three of them. My other friend PJ wanted two of them. If you're keeping count at home, oh my gosh, I literally can't hold these. And then I decided to get just one. I don't even know which one I would really want. I honestly don't really want any of them. If they're all gonna open a bunch of them, you know, I need some to open. And I wanted to open them with you guys, but I also want to open them with them and I can't do that. So I had to buy extra ones so that I could open them with them. It's a whole thing, you know, but we're not gonna be opening this one on camera today, but I will film it when we have our big council meeting. But those are all the Marines. I almost bought an entire box. I bought two fruits for my and I bought this hipper. I don't know if you guys remember, but last time when they had the bunnies in stock, I was able to shake out a bunch of them. I feel like this one's the bunny one and I do want another bunny hipper. I'm gonna open these three with you guys. Let's do a fruit one and then this one, which I'm quite confident is a bunny hipper. But I'm not gonna lie, the first time I shook all of them, I kind of felt like they were all the bunny, which is impossible. I would be okay with the pear, the strawberry, orange. No, I don't want the orange. I take that back. Oh my God. The peach or the raspberry. I already have the raspberry. Or I I really want the sprout. If I get the sprout, I'd like, like pee my pants. I don't even know what I would do, but that's honestly a fever dream. I've never pulled a secret on my own before and I don't anticipate that I will. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna see what's inside. Three, two, one. <gasps> a grape! I don't want a grape! I do want the green grape though, so maybe I'll paint him. I don't want this one. I am so excited that this is the bunny one because I'm pretty sure it is. I know a lot of you guys were asking me on how to shake out the bunnies and you just shake them. And out of every box, if it's a full box, there should be one bunny unless it got like replaced with a secret, but that almost never happens. And there you go, baby. That's how it's done. Look how cute. I bought a box recently of all of the animals. Look, I don't know where I'll put that footage or if I put it anywhere yet. When I use a hipper, I feel like I need to have a second one so that when it gets scuffed up, I won't be as sad because I have one ready to go. I'm so proud of myself. There were already a few missing from the box, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get it but I did because this is the first one I pulled and I thought it'd be trickier with the hippers because they're longer, but hopefully we get a good one from here. I kind of want the pear. I'm not gonna lie. The pear looks very juicy, very tasty. Three, two, one, cha. I got the orange. I don't want the orange. I don't want either of these. What do I do? Maybe I'll paint them and maybe they'll get fruit ones that I want. I don't want these. So these are going in my trade pile, but let's go ahead and head home. 
Okay, so I just got my package and I just got the box open. I am so excited. Didn't expect the box to be this large, so hopefully I got an appropriate amount. I don't know, but my cherry scissors kind of can't handle opening this. But the first one we have here is the Fish Mao prints, which came out really, really cute. I redesigned this from last time, and last time I had these as Rizzo prints, but I feel like these look better. And I also adjusted the material because last time I ordered from this company, I accidentally got them uncoated on the front, so my space prints and my lovely flower meadow prints are all unfortunately uncoated, but this time they're coated. But the fish mouth ones are so cute. Next, we have some of the larger boxes. So, ooh, I did get silver on mine on these new prints I'm about to unbox. And I was thinking about it the other day if they would be dark silver or light silver, but this is a very light silver, so I think it's gonna look great. I was randomly like, what if it's dark silver and they don't turn out good? But light silver will definitely look amazing. OMG. You guys can't see it. You guys can't see it because it's all the way down here. But oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look, 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 look at them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They look so good. OMG. Can I slide one out? Oh, I just broke the whole thing. Okay. Oh, they feel so good and they look amazing. These are the most luxurious feeling prints I've ever felt. I did have a dotted background originally, but I changed it last minute. You can see that it's silver, but I think it looks a lot better without the dotted background because it just looks more like clean because it already has so much going on. But oh my god, Andrew, look at this. Whoa. I know. They're beautiful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Double thumbs up from me. <laughs> is this just an empty box? What other prints did I get? I think these are my kitty prints, which is also exciting. I think these are gonna be even cuter than the other ones. <gasps> They're so, oh my God, the pink turned out so good. Oh my God. Do you see how cutie pink this is? There's one. There's another, oh my God. These are so cute, so beautiful. The silver came out amazing. I'm so glad I did this. I was actually feeling kind of risky doing it. They turned out super cute. These ones are definitely my favorite. I love the little skulls that I did in the corner. Also it matches my nails because I have silver on my nails right now. But like, look how cute. It says, I love candy. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with how all of these prints came out. These are all the new ones. And then I did just do a reorder of flower meadow prints because I just don't have enough of those. So I think that's just what's in here, which is nothing exciting. Oh, and I adjusted the colors a little bit on these so that they just look a little bit better than they did before. I know you guys might not be able to tell, but from my perspective, I can definitely see a difference. I think these look better, so I'm quite happy. We just got them coated on both sides. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and list everything in my shop, all of this new stuff so that we can have a Halloween little launch. But I'm so happy and hopefully you guys will like the fish mouth ones. I didn't get too many of these because I know that they weren't that popular last time, but I do want to keep these in my shop just because I love fish mouth, which is my little hammy if you guys didn't know. On the back it says fish mouth over and over again. But these two are stunning. They're beautiful. Whoa, look at that silver. These ones feel incredible. I don't even know how to describe. They're so thick, they're so nice, and they're very like velvety. So I'm just gonna get these ready for the Halloween show. Ah, they're so pretty. Oh my God. I'm gonna take some nice photos. They look phenomenal. I'm so happy. And we're gonna get these up on the shop as well. Getting the nice photos right now. All of these prints, I'm just so happy with this one. It feels so so amazing. This one does too. They feel the same because they're like the more luxurious uh, type of postcard, but seriously guys, these are incredible. And now they're gonna be live on my shop and I'm so excited for this Halloween season. Okay, so I updated my entire website. So now it has everything there, but I also made a separate category called Halloween shop. And you can shop all the new Halloween updated stuff here. And I think I'm making a lot of progress in terms of like my shop and my website and my business and stuff. So I am very excited. Also, we do currently have some fluffy 
bouquets up. I'm only gonna be leaving these up for a little bit, but I have some fluffy flowers and stuff. I've been working on your crochet orders lately. But yeah, now that I have this done, um, I can go back to painting my sunny angel, which is what I was saying. I got my package right when I got home. Obviously, that got a little derailed, but let's get back to that. Happy early Halloween, everyone. Hope you guys have a great pink Halloween this year. And let's go try to paint some sunnies. Okay, so I'm immediately painting him. I already got the primer on. And he's already a pastel purple, which I know they also make a pastel purple sunny angel, and I think that'd be really cute, but I want a green one first. And then if I ever get another <laughs> grape sunny angel for whatever reason, maybe I'll make a pastel purple, but from a distance, he looks pastel and that's kind of cute. But I love green grapes. I've been eating them so much recently, so I feel like it's only fitting. But I got the primer on. In case you guys are wondering what I'm using, I'm using Pro Krill. I don't know how I feel about it yet though, so I can't really recommend it. But this is what someone recommended me to use, Vallejo Matte Varnish. Matte without the E question mark. And I'm hoping this will give it a sunny angel texture look, but I don't know. I feel like it's almost dry, so I'm gonna mix up our green color. It's hard for me to judge the quality of this paint so far because first of all, I mixed it with a green that's a really bad quality paint. And second of all, I'm not caring too much about brush strokes. I'm trying to prevent them as much as I naturally can, but obviously I'm not going over the top. I didn't like airbrush this or anything. The primer is obviously kind of applied inconsistently. So I'm going to do the edges. I feel like the edges are always satisfying and I haven't hand painted it in a while, but I think I still got it. So this is definitely pretty easy for me, but this is fun so far. I think it'll only need two coats. So that's good news too. And this thing's so tiny. So this project is so fast. Here is him with the first coat. I already started on the second coat on some of the parts just because it started naturally overlapping, but I think two maybe three two should be good i have his little neck stuck out so that the bottom part doesn't touch the bod dude this is literally so much better i just need to do his little stem i don't know how this is gonna hold up hopefully well i'm gonna let it dry for like a couple hours um but i'm gonna do the stem then we're gonna varnish it i think it looks pretty good there are like a few brush strokes but it's really not that bad okay so i finished him and he came out beautiful he came out so much better than i thought he would the color is really really even and i think it looks really good so currently the squad i happen to have this mushroom guy on my desk right now and then we of course have the bunny that we got today the squad is looking so cute i'm still looking for places to put these guys i was actually thinking of putting one they're so cute and i'm so happy i figured out how to paint these it is pretty scratch proof as you can see like i'm scratching with my nail semi hard and it's not, it's not coming off. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more for like 24 hours. That is what I like to do with the precaution with painting stuff, cause you just never really know. They came out so, so cute. So I am so happy, but I think that's going to be the end of today. So thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out all of these stickers. Oh my gosh, it looks crazy right now cause they're not organized, but all of these sticker sheets are available on my shop now, along with the prints and stuff. They are so cute. Definitely check these out. If you guys want to, the link will be down below and check out BetterHelp as well while you're down there. Thank you again to them for sponsoring today's video. Happy early Halloween. Pink is the color of this year's Halloween. So I hope you guys like all the stickers. Let me know what you think in the comments and say hydrate taken up and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye everyone.